Seth Green is an assistant professor of art at Moorhead State University. Over the last five years, his work has been exhibited at 90 different exhibitions. His unique style will capture your imagination. Let's drop in on a studio at Moorhead State University. Clay has an amazing ability to record touch. Um, throughout my education in school and um, after school, um, I feel like I've been able to, de to develop what I call a vocabulary of touch. And so when people see my work, they know that my hands have been on it. And you know, uh, the same is true for other ceramic artists. You can tell that a certain artist has touched it because it has an amazing ability to record uh, touch. Um, it has an ability to communicate um, the artist or the potter's uh, influences or things that they're trying to communicate uh, through their work. Part of uh, being an artist, I think, is, is uh, being willing to let go of some of your best work to be um, either exhibited in venues or purchased by um, individuals or corporations. Um, so yeah, I let a lot, of, a lot of my really good pieces go. It's hard, it's hard for me to do that, but I realize that that's important for me to do as well in order to um, uh, put my best foot forward. One of my mentors always said, if you're ever asked to donate a piece of artwork to a gallery or some type of fundraiser, you always, you always uh, donate your best work. And uh, I'm glad I've done that throughout the years because I've actually received uh, more business and more recognition by doing that. Uh, so yeah, sometimes you gotta let the good ones go. I really feel like um, art is a, an extension of ourselves. Um, art is an amazing, has an amazing ability to communicate uh, who we are. Uh, the work that I make um, really does communicate to other people about the kind of person that I am. Now I'm not necessarily so overt with the symbolism and things that I use, but the overall feeling that people get when they're um, using my work or looking at it, um, they can pretty much get a good, pretty good idea about uh, the kind of person that I am and uh, what my temperament is and what my thoughts and feelings are. So I've been here at Moorhead State for five years. I, I started here um, as an instructor teaching on a one-year contract, which turned into a tenure track uh, assistant professor position. And um, I walked into an amazing opportunity to rebuild a program. They were doing a major renovation here. I got to work early on when I got here and I began building kilns. Because I need, uh, kilns are so important to my work to use as a tool to make my work. And so uh, I received a grant, an internal grant through Moorhead State University, again, really supportive of new faculty. And um, I, I built a sodium vapor kiln uh, as well as a wood kiln. And uh, this last year, I built a large sculpture uh, shuttle kiln. You can pull the actual uh, bed of the kiln out, load the, the pots or the sculpture in, and, and put it back in. able to con control the cooling in this particular kiln to get the crystals to grow. And in order to help me know exactly how hot the kiln is, um, I do have a pyrometer that has a digital readout, but these are pyrometric cones that are um, made with the same materials our glazes are, and they're formulated to melt at different temperatures during the firing. So um, when certain uh, cones fall over, there are certain things that I'll do to the kiln, make adjustments of the air and the gas and then also tells me when I'm hot enough to turn the kiln off. So that's a little bit of science to this. Yeah, um, in fact, that's one of the um, reasons I really enjoy uh, the ceramic medium. There's not only the artistic creation side of it, but there's also uh, the glaze chemistry and the firing and the kiln building 
uh, those are the things that really keep me excited about um, uh, making pots and, and making ceramic work. Every kiln opening is totally different. I, it's like Christmas morning, you open the kiln and there's something completely different and new that you can find. The best piece that I have ever made is um, actually the next piece that I'm gonna be making next. Um, I don't know, I, I, I uh, often tell my students, and I actually get this question a lot, I often tell my students, you know, I hope I never figured out. I hope I'm always chasing something that's better and uh, more refined, uh, utilizing my influences. And uh, so, I don't know, that's a hard question. I think it's the pot that I haven't made yet. The state of Kentucky has been very supportive of me since I've lived here for about a little over five years. And um, number one, it's helped me to gain some more exposure in the state for my work. Um, and uh, recently, this year, I was awarded Best of Show for my work at, out of all, I think it was 202 artists. And there was a lot of amazing um, uh, booths and artwork there. So I was really honored to receive that award. Uh, so uh, I think the Kentucky Arts Council and the opportunities um, that they provide are really uh, wonderful and they help give artists in the state a kickstart to gaining more exposure for their work.